good morning student today we will start the new lesson number 9 and exercise number 9.1 first instruction is write in the form of rupees using decimal notation write in form of rupees using decimal notation before starting we can remember that if we want to convert paisa into rupees we have to divide paisa by 100 okay student if you want to convert paisa into rupees you have to con divide paisa by 100 okay in first it is seen that 50 paisa is given so we have to convert 50 paisa into rupees that is why 50 is to be divided by 100 you see one cup side mid there are two zeros the point will be after two digit from the right side that is rupees 0 0.50 similarly in b9 paisa this is 9 is to be they are divided by 100 again there are two zeros by the side of 100 that is why the point will be after two digit from the right side but there is only one digit 9 we have to take a 0 to make it double digit that is two digit that means we can write rupees 0 0.09 in c 4 rupees 1 paisa 4 rupees already in rupees so we can write break up like this rupees 4 plus rupees 1 by 100 kyunki 100 uh, 1 paisa ko pa rupees mein convert karna hai so this is equal to rupees 4 and one ka side pe double zero hai that is why after two digit from the right side will be point and that is why one zero is taken that is that means we can write G, rupees 4.01 similarly in 15 rupees 73 paisa we can write we can break up uh, rupees 15 because 15 already 15 is already in uh, rupees so rupees 15 plus rupees 73 by 100 this is equal to rupees 15 plus 0.73 because the point will be after three uh, two digit from the right side so we can write rupees 15.73 in two it is given the read the following rupees 0 0.07 we can read like this rupees 0 0.07 rupees 0 0.19 we can write write in words or read like this rupees 0 0.19 similarly in c rupees 5.30 means rupees 5.30 in d it is given 12.06 so we can read like this rupees 12.06 in e it is given rupees 71.37 so you can write, read like this rupees 71.35 okay now in 3 it is given instruction is rewrite in rupees and paisa rewrite in rupees and paisa it is given that uh, uh, rupees 0 0.12 there is no rupee in the uh, place of uh, rupee there is zero so this is 12 paisa we can write uh, 12 paisa in b it is given ru uh, rupees 1.03 this means that one rupee and three paisa only one rupee three paisa similarly in rupees c rupees uh, in c rupees 90.90 this means that 90 rupees 90 paisa 90 rupees 90 paisa in d it is given rupees 178.39 that means 178 rupees 39 paisa okay student now in 4 it is given convert into rupees convert into rupees okay you know that when we are going to convert um, convert into rupees uh, when we are going to convert paisa into rupees we have to divide paisa by 100 i repeat 
when we are going to convert paisa into rupees we have to divide paisa by 100 in the first case 5 paisa is given that is why 5 is divided by 100 rupees rupees uh, uh, when you are dividing by 100 it will be converted into rupees here are again two zeros by the side of one that is why point will be um, after two digit from the right side but there is only one digit five we have to take zero to make it two digit so we can write like this rupees 0 0.05 in b it is given 70 paisa again 70 is to be divided by 100 to convert it into rupees so this will be rupees 0 0.70 okay in 320 paisa to be converted into rupees that is why 320 is to be divided by 100 rupees and this is equal to rupees after two digit there will be a point that is 0 2 then point so 3.20 rupees 3.20 in 15 1563 paisa 1563 paisa to be converted into rupees that is why it is to be divided by 100 now we can write rupees 6 15.63 rupees 15.63 okay student now we will uh, do number 5 the instruction is convert into paisa convert into paisa you know that when we want to convert rupees into paisa when we want to convert rupees into paisa we have to multiply rupees by 100 when we want to convert rupees into paisa we have to multiply rupees by 100 am i clear now in a it is given rupees 0 0.09 so it is to be multiplied by 100 and then it will be this uh, 0 0.09 will be converted into paisa you see that there are two digit a uh, two zero by the side of one so point will be shifted after two digit on the right side that is why two digit one two two digit then the point is valueless the so 9 paisa is the answer similarly rupees 0 0.29 is to be converted into paisa again 0 0.29 is to be multiplied by 100 and then it will be when you are multiplying by 100 it will be converted into paisa <laughs> unit the so paisa again by the side of one there are two zeros the so point will be shifted after two digit on the right side that means 29 paisa again in c rupees 1.09 you can see 1.09 is multiplied by 100 again you see there are two zeros the point will be shifted after two digit so we can write 109 paisa okay student in d it is given rupees 70.80 so 70.80 to be multiplied by 100 then again the point will be shifted up to two digit because it is multiplied by 100 in 100 there are two zeros that is why the point will be shifted up to two digit on the right side so we can write 7080 paisa again in e rupees uh, 139.93 139.93 is to be multiplied by 100 and the result will be 13993 paisa okay student in uh, rupees in f rupees 1 by 4 rupees 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 rupees is to be because 1 by 4 is in rupee unit so this is to be multiplied by 100 if you cancel if you divide 100 by 4 you will get 25 and that means 1 into 25 equal to 25 paisa therefore 1 by 4 is in rupee unit okay this is to be multiplied by 100 to convert it into paisa now we can divide 100 by 4 we will get 25 as a quotient so 25 paisa is the answer in g rupees 3 whole 1 by 10 
first of all we will make it proper fraction or we will uh, make it fractional number that is 3 10 ja 30 3 10 ja 30 plus 1 31 by 10 31 by 10 is in rupee unit therefore it is to be multiplied by 100 to convert it into paisa so you see 31 by 10 multiplied by 100 now this 100 is divided by 10 that means if you divide 100 by 10 you will get the quotient 10 so 31 into 10 equal to 310 paisa okay student now your homework will be write down all the self sum in your classwork copy Okay, student, thank you.